When you first heard that they were honoring you, what was your reaction? Um, well, I've been hearing about, I've, I've heard about the, I've known of the East West players for years, so it was so cool. And Amy Hill, who's on my show, is very involved with them. So I was just so honored and excited. And what, how, how did you come about of deciding to have an Asian bro on the, on the show? And we were just trying to be unique. You know, we were trying to do something that, that felt fresh. We wanted to do kind of the opposite of what Rebecca was uh, as a person. And we thought, oh, California bro. And we were like, oh, there are a lot of Asian bros. And you just have not seen that. But that's like a type of person we know. And like, what an interesting, to us, it was just a, a really good specific. Um, and, and it wasn't until later that we realized all of these like stereotypes about Asian men that we were breaking because it was so common with me growing up, I didn't register it as a stereotype. But usually when you hit on a character where you're like, for some reason, haven't seen before, you're also realizing a stereotype in some ways, you know? And then when you were shopping this around, did you, did you have any uh, uh, situations that you came across with the, with the various uh, networks saying that they want you to change this or that in regards to that? No, I mean, when we first pitched the idea that Josh Chan, it was then Josh Chang, but uh, that Josh was Asian, people were like, are you sure? That's going to really limit your casting you know, options. And we were like, we'll be able to find someone. There are talented Asian people. And sure enough, we found Vince. I mean, originally we said Josh Chan, he doesn't have to sing, he doesn't have to dance, it's okay, we're just looking for the best actor. And then we found Vince who can sing, dance, act, do martial arts. He's an acrobat. Like, he's the most multi-talented person in our cast. And so the, low, the, the kind of, like, measured expectation and... And I was talking to my friend about this, and she was like, oh, if you want to look for an Asian guy, look at the smaller agencies, because the big agencies don't rep that many people of color because the jobs aren't there. You know, the bigger agencies rep people according to demand. There aren't a ton of jobs for, like, Asian bros. And, and Vinny, uh, who plays Josh Chan, has said, like, this is the first role, I mean, he's ever read for in 12 years of, of, of being professionally in the business that's felt like him. Right. And in talking about how, like, you guys are breaking breaking boundaries with the with the Asian with Asians in, in, in entertainment and right now we see that including the Asian bro do you see an Asian guy actually becoming like a, a superhero or kind of like a 007 kind of guy I think that would be amazing and I don't see why that why that couldn't or shouldn't happen I mean I'm biased because the beefcake on our show is Asian <laughs> so I now associate Asian guys with being like buff uh, martial arts beefcakes but yeah, I, I don't know, especially in America where, I mean, West Covina where the show takes place is one quarter Asian. And there are, there are you know, Filipinos, Korean, Japanese, there are people of all shapes and sizes and types. So I don't see why it can't be multicultural in that way. And I think the box office ratings support that. People want to see themselves reflected on screen. They want to see the way America is reflected on screen. Do you see that TV TV gets it, but uh, the film studios are still haven't worked it out yet, and they're still archaic? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think the film studios are much more profit-driven because the TV, TV now, especially on cable, has the luxury of being able to be more specific and take more perceived risks because it's subscription-based, whereas, like, the big studio movies... They want to do like the safest option so they can make the most money. So you've seen a lot of the reasoning being like, oh, well, there aren't A-list you know, Asian actors, which first of all isn't true, but second of all, how do you make A-list Asian actors? You cast them. So it's a kind of chicken and the egg scenario. But in general, TV is more willing to take risks um, and be specific with characters in a, in a way that's like fresh and new than, than movies are right now. And then lastly, um, uh, we saw Leia Salonga on the show. Yeah. How exciting was that? You know, you sing, you dance and all that, and to see Leia Salonga coming from Broadway on your show, how did you guys manage that? I mean, it was, it was amazing. I've been listening to Leia Salonga since I was a kid. I mean, and she still looks like she's a kid. Um, she literally is, I, I mean, she looks like she's 20 years old. Um, it was... It was so wonderful. We, we reached out to her and we wrote this part for her and we were like, hopefully she does it, especially because we, we know that she lives in the Philippines and so we were so lucky to get her. So Amy, I spoke to Amy a few days ago. She says she hopes that uh, Leia comes back again. Is that something that might happen season two? Uh, God, you know, we're still planning out season two, but definitely having Leia back is in the cards. We just have to find the right moment for it because she's such a specific, awesome character. You know, she's Josh's aunt who's like this big personality, this singer. So it's something we're definitely keeping in mind.